Can you put a price on human life? My name is Nancy Pickett and I'm a student filmmaker. I also happen to have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, dysautonomia, and digestive tract paralysis, so I rely on a feeding tube and central line for most of my nutrition, hydration, and medications. I have seven doctors in four different healthcare systems, and there's no cure for my conditions right now, so I'll probably be like this for the rest of my life. Before the Affordable Care Act was passed, as that number got bigger and bigger, I'd get closer to my annual cap on benefits, and after I reached that number, my insurance wouldn't have to pay for anything else the rest of the year. The next year, even if my coverage reset, I'd probably end up reaching my lifetime limit on benefits, and at that point, my insurance company could deny me coverage ever again just because they'd already spent a certain amount of money on my health care. The ACA kind of reversed the system, this time to benefit patient care. They got rid of the annual and lifetime cap on benefits, and they instated what was called a maximum out-of-pocket expenditures, so that families like mine wouldn't go bankrupt from paying all these bills that came from the overly inflated healthcare system. But Republicans will soon learn that you can't keep the good parts of the ACA and remove the rest of the law and still have it work. So we're going to repeal Obamacare, we're going to replace it with something that's going to be terrific. How does it sit with you and your constituents that Republicans in Congress are racing to repeal Obamacare without a replacement and the fact that they haven't been able to come up with a replacement for more than six years? Without Obamacare, millions of people will be without coverage again. And if they're chronically ill like me, they can't afford to be without insurance for any period of time, let alone how long it's going to take Republicans to create new replacement legislature. Think of it like you're shopping for prom. You might find the perfect dress, but if they don't have your size and your promise tomorrow, you can't get this dress. You have to settle for a dress you kind of like, but it's not as good as this one. The Affordable Care Act is like the dress you settle for. It definitely has its problems, but you can't afford to wait for the perfect one. The first big fight of this new Congress will be over health care. Republicans are plotting and soon will be executing a full-scale full assault on the three pillars that support the American health care system the Affordable Care Act, Medicare, and Medicaid. The Republican plan to cut health care wouldn't make America great again, it would make America sick again. Do you believe that health care is a right of all Americans, whether they're rich or they're poor? Should people, because they are Americans, be able to go to the doctor when they need to. I look forward to working with you to make certain that every single American has access to the highest quality care and coverage that is possible. Has access to does not mean that they are guaranteed health care. I have access to buying a $10 million home. I don't have the money to do that. I've made it through a lot but losing the Affordable Care Act isn't something I'll be able to recover from.